all of you hope you guys are great so welcome back once again to smart contract development series in this series we are building a lot of different smart contract for different industry so we have already built six different smart contract previously so if you haven't watched the playlist make sure to watch that a link in the i button in the description so you guys can follow that in this video we're going to write a smart contract for stock trading industry and i just want to ask all of you guys that do you want me to build a project on top of this because in this video i will focus on the smart contract i'll build the smart contract and i will tell you the entire logic that how we are designing the smart contract but if you guys really want me to use this and build a project on this then do let me know in the comment section then definitely i'll come with a tutorial where we're going to utilize this smart contract which we are about to write and we'll build a project with the front end where user can do the trade okay so let's start with the smart contract reading so i'm going to write the smart contract in my visual code studio and after that we'll move to the remix id where we're going to test the contract let me give this comment stock trading because that's the contract we are building and now we have to define the solidity version 8.0 and now let's write the contract so we'll say contract and the contract name is going to be stock trading in that we have to define our struct so we'll say struct stock and in that we have to define all the data we want to take for our trading so the first one is going to be let's say unt price and we'll have the quantity so for the time being yeah going with this two data but you can make it more complex so this is our struct and we're going to create our mapping and it's going to be a string stock public stocks and we have to create it on the mapping this is our nested mapping and that we're going to return the price the balance hope so far things are clear to all of you guys so these are the two mapping we have let's come down we're going to create a, another variable which is called hatch fund and this hatch fund is basically the owner of the contract so whoever will deploy the contract he will become the hash fund and he will be responsible for withdrawing the fund updating the stock and updating the price of the stocks as well so this is the address of that the owner of the contract you can call it i called it hedge fund because we are building a smart contract for a financial sector so we have to follow the technical terms so that's the address we have now let's create our events so we'll create a bot event in that we have to pass all of this data we have to pass the buyer's name price and the quantity now we have to create one more event this is the sold event in that we have to pass all the data so price quantity so these are the two events we have now let's come down and here we have to simply define our constructor so let's define the data so here what we're going to define is we're going to find the owner of the contract so whoever will deploy the contract he become the owner of the contract hedge fund so that's the one we have now let's we have to create the function so we'll create we'll create a modifier because we're going to restrict certain function only for the user so we'll say only hedge fund and that we have to make this statement so we'll say ms dot sender is going to be hedge fund otherwise we have to throw this error message that only hedge fund can call these functions and then we have to simply continue so i believe that you guys know what this signs mean if you don't provide that sign the function is going to be struck and it's not going to continue so make sure you have to provide this one because one of you have encountered this error and he was telling me that the code is not executing it's getting stuck and he was getting error so make sure to provide that one and if you still have any confusion about the modifier and whatever keywords we are using in this tutorial make sure to follow the solidity complete course in that i have explained every single keywords every single function we use in the solidity smart contract so that's our modifier now let's come down and let's write the very first function so we'll create a function called buy stock so this function will allow user any person who wants to buy the stock so they can call this function so in that we're going to take the name of the stock and we want the quantity so these are the two things we want from the user to provide so they can buy that because the price of the stock is fixed we are fixing the price of the stock so they can only pass the quantity and the name so we'll say public and it's payable because there is a transfer of fund is fund is happening in this function so that's the two things now let's create a stock and we have to simply update the stock name we'll say stock we have to get this particular stock so we have the stock and what we do here let's come down we'll make this required statement so we have to check for the price so stock dot price should be higher than zero not zero and by the way i just want to tell you one thing that the price we are setting in this contract in terms of way we are not setting in terms of ether you can but i'll going with the in way term so we'll say stock does not exist so far things are looks good to me now let's make another required statement check the value 
it should be greater than stock price and we have to multiply with the quantity so we can easily able to take the that whether he or she has the sufficient balance in his wallet or not so that's what the check we are doing here now let's come down here and here we're going to simply take the balance of the message or sender and we have to take the name and we'll simply update that quantity so that's the simple logic and we have to simply initialize the bought event and then we have to pass all of the data so that's the function for buying stocks pretty simple not that complicated and if you guys really want me to build a front-end project where we're going to build a project using this then do let me know in the comment section then definitely i'll try to build on top of that so that's the buy stock now let's create another function this will become the sell stock so those who have the stock they can easily able to sell so for that we need the name and the quantity that how many they want to sell it's going to be a public and here we have to simply check something so we'll take the stock name whether that stock he want to sell it exists in the contract or not if is there then we have to take the data of the stock and we have to simply compare the price again stock does not exist if it's less than zero and here we have to simply check the balance that whether he has that balance in the contract or not if it doesn't have the balance then we have to throw this error message that insufficient stock balance you don't have any balance in your contract about the stocks so that looks fine now now let's come here we have to simply check the balance and we have to simply minus because once he will sell the stock we have to do the subtraction so when someone buy we have to add the stock in his data like in the address but now he's selling so we have to subtract this exact quantity which he tried to sell so that looks fine now make it payable so we can transfer the fund to the stock price and we have to simply do the calculation whatever the amount of tokens or quantity he has we, he want to sell we have to transfer the fund so that looks fine let's come there and we have to initialize this stock sold event in that we have to pass all of this data so that's the sell function we have you can see these two functions are public so anybody can buy anybody can sell so now we have to create some private function which is restricted to the only all of the contract hedge fund owner so let's come here here we're going to create a function and we're going to call it add stock so this is only allow for the owner of the contract because he going to initialize the stocks so he will pass the name of the token and the price and the quantity so how many stock he wants to release and add it's going to be a public and we'll use this modifier we have built above so that's the one we have now we have to simply take the stocks we have to update the stocks and then we have to make this check so the stock price should be not equal to the zero because we want to have at least sudden price for the stocks our stock already exists and here we'll check the stock price quantity we have to simply update the data and that looks pretty fine so this is the add stock function we have now we have to create another function called update stock and price so later the owner have decided to update the price so he can do that very easily by passing all of this data and we have to restrict to the owner so we're going to take the data of the stocks the stock and we'll target that and then we have to do the check so the price should be greater than zero not not less than that otherwise we have to throw this error message and that looks fine now we have to simply update the price so this is the update price function we have here now that's the second function let's write one more function to withdraw the fund so this function is only allow user sorry owner who can withdraw the fund so we'll take this fetch and we're going to simply transfer the whatever the balance is there in the contract so that's the entire smart contract we have written hope so far things are making sense to all of you guys now simply one thing you have to do is simply copy all of this and now we have to test this out so this is the entire contract we had written for the stock trading now let's simply deploy the contract so click on this and i'm going to pick the first address and this is the only contract we have click on this deploy and here we have deploy the contract click one more time and here the trap contract is got deployed here we have the instant of the contract click on this and here we have all the function all the methods which we have defined in the contract so the very first function we have to call is this one add stock because if anybody wants to buy the stocks at least the contract has to have a stock then they can buy it if you click on this hash one this is the address of the contract and right now you can pass any name and you will get nothing here you can see we, we don't have anything zero zero so now what we have to do is click on this add stock and here we have to type the name of the stock we want to provide so i'll say dialot 
and I want to set the pricing is going to be one and the quantity I want to release is 200 so this is the quantity I want to release and make sure that this pricing in terms of way is not in terms of ether so that's the thing you have to keep in mind if you click on this transaction the transaction went through you can able to find the logs down in the descriptions sorry in the terminal you can see all the gas cost you have paid and now if you come here and if you make a call this stock still you will get nothing because you have to provide the exact name which you have given to your contra your your exchange stock sorry and if i call this and if i call that i'll say that i provide this price and it's a quantity is 20 okay i provide this quantity 20. now what i have to do is what i will do i'll simply switch to the account number two and now i will try to buy some of the stocks so to buy the stock all i have to do is to i have to call this function and i have to make sure that i have to provide the right name otherwise i'll get an error and you can have multiple stock different stock different stock you will have but i'll show you with the stock we have already created so i'll simply pass the name of the stock and i'll pass the quantity that how much i want so i'll pass one and if you want to buy you here you have to come and you have to simply ta provide the amount so i'm buying five stops so i have to provide the five way if you if you provide the ether it will five way so that looks fine now make a call make a transaction and the transaction went through and here you will see that you have this much ether in your contract because the amount is stored in the contract and if you come here if you pass the address of your wallet if you pass your address of your account and in here address and the name of the token stock sorry the a u l a t then you will it will give you the data that how much stock you have in your account so that looks pretty fine if anybody wants to buy even more so just imagine that i want to buy more so here i will come and i'll provide the amounts i want to buy let's say five more five and i'll call this one the transaction went through if i call this i have 10 and here you can see we that number is got increased to this so that looks pretty fine only owner of the contract can update that's pretty easy or we have already seen that and if the on if anybody else try to withdraw the function fund and if anybody else try to withdraw the fund from the contract and they can click withdraw and they will have the error because they are not the owner so if i come here if i click on this go to the first one and this is the owner and i'll call this withdrawal function if i call the withdrawal function here we have withdraw the fund from the contract and you can see this is zero and if you come back to your contract you will see the amount is got increased so hope so far things are making sense to all of you guys you guys have understand that how you can write the contract for a DeFi sector decentralized finance this is the simple smart contract for a stock market we have taken the quantity and price we are mapping that we can add more than one stock okay more than one stock we have the sold bought event sold event we have the constructor we have this modifier then we have the buy sell we have the add we have the stock price withdrawal so we have written all of this function so hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you guys and if you guys really want me to build a project on top of this contract then do let me know in the comment section i'll definitely make one and in this series we're going to build close to 60 to 70 smart contract for different industry and if you really want me to build project in any one of the contract you really like for a specific industry do let me know in the comment section do let me know that we want a project on that so i will get an idea that will give me enough idea so i can build a project on top of that so you guys can get the maximum benefit from the tutorial so that's the only thing i want to talk about in this video hope entire thing makes sense to all of you guys and if you still have any confusion any doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to help you in that have a wonderful day bye bye